In uh, yesterday's uh, session, we um, had four excellent speakers discussing the state of the science in um, the treatment of sarcomas. Um, there are clearly many exciting drugs in uh, development um, um, for sarcomas, but one of the real take-home messages from the um, uh, session was that we need to think of these um, diseases as, as different entities for the purpose of um, clinical trial evaluation and it's clear that we're going to be dealing with very um, small patient numbers for um, some of these drugs so thinking about um, subgroups of subtypes in many ways so splitting and splitting these um, different tumours into um, different uh, treatment brackets. So there are a number of drugs that have been uh, developed right now that are particularly exciting. So for gastrointestinal stromal tumour, there are um, uh, two drugs in uh, phase one development going on to uh, phase three development. One is BLUE285 and the other is DCC2618. There's also a randomised uh, trial of uh, crinolinib in patients with uh, gastrointestinal stromal tumour with the PDGFR alpha D842V mutation, which is um, very exciting. For soft tissue um, sarcomas in general, there are a number of exciting approaches um, being evaluated, including immunotherapy, particularly for undifferentiated pleomorphic sarcoma and angiosarcoma and maybe alveolar soft part sarcoma. And there are some very niche indications, and I suppose the, the main drug class that highlights uh, really sort of niche indications are the NTRAC inhibitors. So I think in conclusion, a very exciting time in uh, drug development for sarcomas.